So you have done all your streaming setup in OBS, so now it's time to stream on YouTube, which I'm going to show you how to actually set it up for today's video. And I'm also going to explain what are the requirements in order for you to actually unlock YouTube streamings so that you're able to save you tons of time and you're able to kickstart your streaming journey as fast as possible. So be sure to watch to the end. If you haven't downloaded OBS or even set it up, do not worry, I'll put a link down below in the comment and you might want to check out my recent video on actually how to set up streaming for OBS. So assuming that you have done all that, now let's head to the first requirement. So firstly, you have to actually verify your mobile number. So go to the YouTube studio and go under bottom left, you'll see settings and look for channel and go under feature eligibility. After that, you have to actually verify for these intermediate features by using your mobile number. So once you have done verify this, if you would like to actually unlock more daily streams and other features, you have to actually go for advanced features and at least one of these, your channel history, your valid ID or even your video verification. Just follow the on-screen instruction. After that, once you have done all this and you're able to see a green tick which means it's actually verified. So there are actually two options that you can go live on YouTube by using OBS which we're gonna focus for the first option. Firstly, connect your YouTube account in OBS. So go under the settings and look for streams. Alright, and look for YouTube RTMPS and the server is primary YouTube ingest server. After that, connect your YouTube account. After that, you're able to see the authorization completed successfully. So you can now close the page and you're able to see in OBS, your chat panels is out. So you can actually adjust it and place it inside your OBS so that you can actually watch or read your chat from here. After that, you're able to see there's a manage broadcast. Just click on it. So this way that you can actually set your title, your description, and remember to set your privacy to unlisted before you started to go live. Because we have to make sure that everything goes smooth and stable before you actually go public. And the category depends on your content. Is this video made for kids? Just take it not made for kids. After that, you can even upload your thumbnail from here. And there's another good way that you can actually use this, which is once you have done created your first streams, the next time you can actually select your existing stream, which means that you do not need to recreate unless that you stream a different content. And next up is the latency. If you like to actually have an on-time interaction with your viewers, you can go for low latency. But if you do not want to use low latency, no worry, you can just go for normal. And you're able to see it as an enable DVR. So what did this mean? When you enable it, your viewer able to pause or even rewind your live stream so that it won't miss out some of the exciting moments. And next up, you're able to see this schedule for later, which is actually really, really handy. Once you take it, you're able to actually schedule your live stream like 20 minutes or 30 minutes earlier before you actually go public. That way, you're able to test your streams before even showing to the viewers so that you're able to know if there's any lag, drop frames, or your audio, your game capture, everything. Is it working smoothly? If the video is actually helpful to you, remember to smash that big like button. It actually helps the channel to grow. So the second option, which is to use your stream key. So go to YouTube studio and go create, go live. After that, you're able to see on your left the streams, webcam, manage. Just go under streams. And from here, you're also able to create your title, your category, your privacy, all those stuff that you can actually able to manage here as the same as manage broadcast in OBS. So from here, you can click edit and you're able to write your descriptions, your visibility, your thumbnail, your playlist. It's able to actually set up right here. So for the stream key, it's actually really, really straightforward. So you're able to see stream key, just copy the stream key and paste it in the OBS. All right, just put up settings and you're able to see stream and use stream key and paste your stream key and that's it, you're able to go live to YouTube by using these two options. But if you're not doing any multi-streaming, just YouTube, I can actually suggest just connect your account, which is way more better and the easiest. Besides that, you can also schedule your stream from the YouTube live dashboard. On the top right, you're able to see this scheduled stream. Click on it. I'm going to just create a new one. After that, you'll be able to see all the titles, the descriptions, your thumbnail, your category that you're able to see in Manage Broadcast. You can also do it right here. But if you're streaming from OBS, you're able to see this how they want to go live. Just click streaming software. Okay, so you have done all those stuff. The next up is the bitrate. Because streamings on YouTube and some other platform, the main difference is the bitrate. YouTube able to support higher bitrate for higher quality. But it really depends on the upload speed. So that I can actually suggest when you're streaming 1080p horizontal, 
If you do have at least 10 to 20 Mbps of the upload speed, I can suggest you just streams at 1080p with about 7000 to 8000 kbps. And if your PC unable to handle or you can't really stream horizontal because of the sum of the spec requirement, you can stream vertically with about 4000 to 4005 kbps or even lower than that, minimum at least 2005. So how do you set it? Just go to the settings and look for the output and you're able to see streamings and you're able to see the bitrate. So set it to CPR for the rate control and the bitrate you can set according to your current upper speeds and also to your current streamings laid out. So if you'd like to stream vertically in OBS, very simple. Just go on the settings and go on the video. Oh, but too bad that I couldn't actually set it right now. When you see the base canvas, just set it to 1080p times 1920. So you're able to see there's a vertical format. After that, you're able to go stream vertically. But remember this, if you are doing uh, multi-streams, for YouTube, horizontal streams and vertical stream is actually two different separate streams. So you have to actually set up two different stream key. And the last step is to click start streaming. Once you've clicked the start streaming from your OBS, you're able to see on the top right in the YouTube live dashboard, there's a go live, which means that your stream has been connected to your OBS so that you can actually click the go live and remember to change your privacy to public. Once you have done streaming, I'll stop the stream firstly from OBS. After that, you're able to see end streams on your YouTube live dashboard which is located on the top right. Just click on it and you'll end your YouTube stream. You might be able to see there's a function called auto stop, auto start and unleash live replay when streams end. So usually I have that two function untick because when it comes to auto start, so when you start your stream from OBS, it will automatically start on your YouTube stream also. So I usually just untick it because I would like to do it manually. And same goes to auto stop. So for example, if your internet is disconnected or there is some issue with the network connection so your OBS stream will stop and same after that you have to stream all from the start again so which is actually quite inconvenient and by the way there's one thing called the unleashed live replay once streams end for this I usually gonna just stick it because I do not want my channel to actually fill up with all my past live stream but for this it actually depends on your channel content so for that one it's actually up to you so yeah that is how you stream on YouTube by using OBS the process is very straightforward and actually pretty pretty easy. Once you have done your first stream, you can even use back your previous live stream and comment down below if you do have any other questions. By the way, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more streamings and content tips. So I'll see you guys again on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.